Test match, second day, first test. So, uh, South Africa's day, just probably. I thought today was one of the more absorbing days test cricket that we've seen in the past five years. I thought South Africa bowled quite, quite magnificently, used the conditions much better than England have subsequently, and uh, it's absolutely crucial that England get taken early inroad tomorrow uh, when South Africa resumed. They've got to get rid of Smith or Amler, ideally both, otherwise they're looking down the barrel. You can see South right. Africa carrying on and making a, a big score uh, to, then uh, quiet, please. Quiet. to then challenge England in the second innings. I'm in the presence of genius. This is the man who last year predicted Surrey's victory in the County Championship Division 2 from, from nowhere. Josh! I have one question. Go on. Ravi Bopara, why? Very good question. Um, there is now a genuine alternative um, in Ricky Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard this. Oh, sorry, 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 what? what? Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I hear someone just say Ricky Clark? Ricky Clark is now the Are you on trucks? Ricky Clark, ladies and gentlemen, is the most improved player in England. Now, this is one of the great... Oh, Lord, there's a low cloud base there, isn't it? This is, one of, this is one of the great advantages of Ashley Giles as a coach and a trainer of men. Ashley Giles takes basket cases like Varun Chopra, Ricky Clark and Darren Maddy and turns them into... Darren Maddy's a basket case! And, and, and turns them into thoroughbreds. Right, well, on to that. Ricky Clark is now... Ricky Clark is now a front-line um, batsman and bowler, and if he carries if he carries on like this, he should be back. He should be batting number six and bowling second change for England. Right, right. Does our South African friend want to talk? Yes. Your view of the day's play? That's quite um, enough for that. <laughs> But well, well, there you go. That's enough of that. Well, it was. It was a good day. Enjoyed it. Why wouldn't I? It's because um, it was dull. Well, wickets, wickets fell. Because you batted about fell. two and over. And you then boring sods. Bit, and then some batting, some solid batting. Actually, Mamla empty stadiums, dull, doesn't he? Dull, but you know, dull batting wins matches. <laughs> Graham Smith's got a batting style not even his mother could love. <laughs> Well, we enjoyed Alviro Peterson's little cameo. Very good straight defence, very nice. I was impressed by his. Yeah, and then he missed one. Good. Was, um, I liked was, it. Was Is he a genius? Very. Is he a genius? Genius. Oh, oh, he's, came, he's got the same genius. name as a genius, though, isn't he? Is a genius. K P Peterson. Peterson's a genius. Yes. Yes. A P K P. Not not quite a the same thing. K P De Villiers. <laughs> Ah, so would you say that after today? Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. A oh, one day tomorrow. Yes. Was it Jack Annie? Tomorrow. Jack, tomorrow. It's Jack always Stato. Tomorrow. It's only a day away. Jack Eight. Stato. Colours tomorrow. Colors. We'll be good. He'll be good. Well, I'll be good. I can only hope. You? You're off to Bologna tomorrow. Yeah, I have to go to Bologna, but um, I do think that. Um, Ricky Clark, I'm not sure. Is he still playing cricket? Who is he playing for? Ricky uh, Clark. Yes, he's still playing cricket. Is he on the Surrey spreadsheet? It's at Warwickshire. Uh, Warwickshire. The most, the most improved, the most improved cricketer in England. Is he got under the mantle of who's the cokehead? We um, celebrity knob. Dermot Reeve. Has he gone under Dermot? Allegedly. Reeve? Allegedly. No, he confessed actually. So no, we're all out on legal grounds here. Oh, okay, we're okay. So Ricky Clark and Dermot Reeve. Do you think they are the people who take Surrey out of the mire? Because Chris Adam is not really cutting them up. Well, we're on to Surrey now. I'm not really interested in Surrey at the moment. We're on. Um, I think. Uh, Ravi Bopara. Jack Next. Right. Uh, Iris Bias to my right. I'm not sure Morgan is the answer, but you never know. Morgan. Owen Morgan would be a better bet than, uh, than Ravi Bopara. Than Willie Morgan. 
Well, possibly. I've been going on, but my one, Marcel, it's easy for me to say because my, uh, my idea will never be selected, so there you go. James Hildreth, but well, there you go. Scores lots of runs, never been given a go. They'll give it to Butler or some other wicket keeper who can't bat or whatever. There is, a, there, is a, there is a perception amongst um, people who should know better that Nick Cumpton and Joss Butler are better players than James Hildreth. They aren't. Look at it. You know, look at look at look at his record. Mm -hmm. He's a consistent. He is a consistent run scorer in all conditions. He scored the most the most significant cricket matches in the early part of this season was a game between Notts and Somerset at Trent Bridge in the, up and in, the bored. in the early part of the season when wickets were falling what did he get? like nine pins and uh, only two men scored hundreds that day Chris Reed, who scored a very good hundred out of a Notts all out score of 167 and uh, 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 and Hildred. Um, now we know that Chris Reed's not going to play for England again. I think James Hildred should. And on that part, and on that uh, point, I think um, I shall uh, relinquish fur further messages. Okay. Until tomorrow, it's only a day away.